Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a World War II video and it's going to be about the Gothic line. So this is going to be a new three-part mini-series here. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I'm out at college right now. So I don't have a lot of time to build Munalist because I'm away from the collection. So what I did was I brought some pieces with me to build a mock, kind of like I did last year with the Jedi Temple library build. Um, instead for this time, I'm going to be doing a World War II build and it's going to be on the Gothic line. So this will be a quick three-part series where there's going to be three sections of the build, and I'll get into that in a little bit. And I'm going to kind of have three episodes kind of detailing that process of building the Gothic line. All right, so as we look at this kind of overhead shot, we have the woods area, which I will show off more. And then we have this middle section, which you'll see some troops laid out right there. That's going to be the battlefield and the trench area. And that's the second section. So the first episode here is on the woods area. The second episode will be on that trench and battlefield area with the Panzer IV turret head that you see up in the top left. And then once we get to the very top, the last section, that will be the mountain. So this uh, kind of mini series will be in three episodes. First episode here is on the woods. Second episode is on the battlefield and trench area. And the third episode is on the mountain. And as we go through the battlefield area here, it's just going to be um, some details, battlefield, a few trenches, maybe a few foxholes, and kind of one major trench. And then, of course, that Panzer IV um, turret head, which I'll talk about more in that episode. But one of the cool things about the Gothic line was that they'd have these Panzer turrets that were like dug into the ground where just the turret was above the ground. Um, and it was kind of built in like as a fortification, as kind of like a, a turret that would look over kind of all the hills and the mountains. I thought it was a really cool detail. I've always wanted to build it in Lego, uh, so I thought it'd be cool to include it in this mock. So for this episode, I worked on this front section with the path and with the woods. I kind of wanted to create a small tree line area just from the reference photos and videos that I saw. Um, obviously, there's lots of trees up in the mountains, so we've kind of had these small woods area. So I wanted to try to recreate that for this mock where there's kind of this line of trees where the forest is kind of ending and they're kind of getting into more of the hilly and mountainous terrain um, past this forest area. So I've got some trees up in here, basic trees, nothing too special. And then I've kind of got a path going alongside inside of the woods right there, outlined by some grass pieces and kind of using a grass technique where some of them are actually placed and clicked on to the actual um, plates themselves, but a few of the grass pieces are actually just set in there and kind of turned to give them some interesting looks and angles to them. Um, so I kind of added that in there and then set up like a down log where that MG position is at and then set up some figures to kind of give you guys an idea of what that battle would look like. Nothing too special. Um, this series is going to be a little different because I don't have all my parts with me, so this mock isn't going to be able to be as detailed, and it's kind of rudimentary in terms of how I'm building it and the setup um, for like the video portion of it and the production level. I don't have my same lights and equipment and kind of background that I do back at home, so I'm doing the best I can, so I apologize for if it's a little um, not as, as high quality as usual in terms of the background for the video and everything like that but um, yeah there's just a simple area with the woods with the trees and kind of a path for everyone to fight alongside and then it should get more interesting when we move on to the battlefield with some trenches and foxholes and then of course I think when you look through the trees you're going to get some cool angles especially once like part of the rock work and the mountain gets done you'll be able to look through and see the mountain through the trees and I think there'll be some really cool angles for that. And that's going to do it for this first part. These episodes are going to be short, just kind of going to be me getting some video clips and then talking over them, kind of giving some details on the build, just some small videos that I can make while I'm off at college here. And in the meantime, of course, Munalist mock updates will be coming out. I've got another one coming out next week. Stay tuned for that Munalist mock update video. As for this series, the next video will be featuring the middle section that I talked about, which will be the trench area. Um, I want to build a few foxholes and kind of a larger trench and kind of this battlefield area with some different terrain mounds and things like that, where kind of a lot of the action will be taking place. And then the third episode will be the mountain, and I want to put kind of a trench on top of the mountain, if that makes sense. I saw a very cool reference picture where there's kind of these German troops running along the top of a mountain, kind of like this trench area, and you kind of see the backdrop of like all the other mountain ranges and everything. So I thought it'd be cool to throw a trench up on top of the mountain, so that'd be the third episode. So again, a very simple mock that I'm kind of going through here, building something that I can do while I'm up at college. In the meantime, while you guys are waiting for me to list mock update videos. So that's about it. As always, leave your feedback in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great day, and may the force be with you always.